In this lesson, we will explore how we can utilize the columns block to create different designs. The columns block is a container block, which can be used to create a variety of custom layouts, and it opens up a world of design possibilities. The columns block allows you to insert text, media, and other types of content into up to six columns. And when used one after another, the columns block creates a cool grid effect. To add a columns block, click on the inserter and type columns. Or you could type forward slash columns and select it from there. You can choose the number and the size of the columns that you want to start with. The beauty of the columns block is that you can add other blocks into each column. For example, you can create the columns block to add structure and then add image blocks, heading blocks and paragraph blocks. You can also create this type of design by adding a cover block to each column. There is a parent-child relationship between the main columns block and the individual columns that form part of the parent block. When you click on the alignment icon, you will be able to change the alignment of your block to wide width or full width. Did you know that you can also duplicate columns? Let's select the third column in the columns block. When you click on the three vertical dots, you have an option to duplicate. Duplicating a design will save you a lot of time and effort. When you select an individual column, you also have the option in the block toolbar to use the arrows to move the column to a new position. But you also have the option in the list view to drag and drop a column where you want. If you wanted to add another column, you could merely click on the inserter between two columns, or you could select the parent block and open your sidebar settings. And then below columns, you have the option to increase or decrease the amount of columns. Below that, we see the option to deselect or select stack on mobile. So ensure you select this option if you want your columns to stack on top of each other when viewed on a mobile device. When we open styles, we will see that the columns block also allows us to change the colors of both the parent block or individual columns. And there are various typography options worth exploring, such as font family, appearance, letter spacing, etc. You even have the option to change the size of your columns block. Below dimensions, you can adjust the padding or the space around the content of the block. You can add margin, or you can modify the space between columns. Right at the bottom of styles, we also have the option to add a border and a radius to our columns block. And lastly, you also have the option to add a drop shadow to your columns block. As you will see, there are various options to choose from. Another great feature is that you can transform other blocks to a columns block and even a columns block to a group block. So as you can see, you can achieve any custom design using the columns block from introducing your team, displaying different types of media, or even creating a pricing table. Enjoy using the columns block to achieve your design needs.